Hello, I'm James Jacobson in Maui, Hawaii. And I'm Claire Mansell in London, England. Welcome to Dog Edition. Where voices from around the world consider all things dog. Dog Edition is the first show designed for you to listen to while you walk your dogs. Today on the show is our holiday gift special. We've found our favorite gifts and we're going to be trying them out right here and giving you our honest opinion. If you have a dog that has absolutely everything and just can't find that perfect gift, well, this show's for you. Or if you're shopping for someone who is a dog lover and you don't know what to get them, that is why we've selected the best holiday gifts for 2022. And one lucky listener will win everything from the show today. Everything. That's right. It could be you. You win it all. It's kind of like Oprah's big giveaway. We'll have details on that later in the show. So if you love dogs as much as we do, pause what you're doing, leash up your pup, and let's go for a walk. Because we've got a lot to talk about and to show you on today's episode of Dog Edition. Well, Claire, the holidays are upon us. People are, you know, getting geared up for Black Friday sales and doing what they need to do to find the perfect presents for themselves and all the loved ones on their list, including their dogs. And we have been working tirelessly to help find those things for you that you can do from the convenience of home uh, because we've been scouring the internet. And in a recent poll, it was revealed that 70% of dog owners and cat owners purchase gifts for pets during the winter holidays. That's millennials, amazing. That, that's amazing. <laughs> millennials in the United States plan to spend the highest at 51 US dollars on average. Gen Z is $50. Gen, Gen Z, X for those of you Americans. <laughs> is $41. And what do you reckon about those boomers? Higher uh, or lower? Uh, I, I see a trend here. I'm going to go lower? Yeah, $28 uh, from the boomers. Come okay. on. They should be spending more money on their pets. Okay, so the millennials are, are, are leading the pack in terms of spending the most amount of money. That's on average. And I suspect that if you are listening to us or watching us, you might be spending a little bit more than the average person mm -hmm. for your dog. And things are getting pretty expensive these days. You know, I hear there is a recession coming on mm -hmm. uh, and the economy and all sorts of parts of the world is is, is suffering I, I know in England we won't tease you too much but uh, oh. <laughs> uh, yeah basically people are economizing and being a little bit more frugal and so we are doing that as well we have not only looked for the best products to give dogs and the easiest to get through online shopping but we have found products that fit very comfortable budgets as low as ten dollars and the most expensive one that we're going to show you today is 140 dollars i'll tell you what my family who are all dog owners shop on a budget for christmas and we do mm -hmm. token gifts and honestly there is stuff in the show today that i've seen that i am now getting for my family for christmas because i love it so we've got lots of fun gifts that we're going to be um, showing you right in front of the camera because this episode is also available on youtube and we'll be giving you our honest opinions of the products that we have here and the gifts and remember one of you is going to win everything details on that as i said Coming up. Let's jump right in. We have our under $10 gift. And Jim, this is one that you have got. It's the Pooch Selfie. This is the Pooch Selfie. And it is exactly what it looks like. It is a tennis ball on a clip. I will open it for you. We'll do the, is this an unboxing here? You can hear everything. Our, <laughs> our sound editor is going to go, ah, it's the worst. But I will also give you another sound. That's right. It squeaks. <laughs> but it's not, you know, it's it's great. And, and, and what here's how you use it. It's very hard. You, you get one of these. I bet we all have one of these. I, I won't show you what, what messages are coming at me. <laughs> but you, you have, you know, your phone, whether an iPhone or a, um, or a, 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 a Android. Android. Yes, That's I use it. an Android. I like to make fun of people who use iPhones, a fruity phone. But anyway, <laughs> whatever kind of phone you were, have or or something else, a Windows phone, you can do this by 
clipping it on like so and there there's the camera lens and you can and of course you can flip this way and dogs love it because you can go that's amazing i have cool. a dog who would be utterly obsessed by that she's she's obsessed by balls she never takes her eyes off them and she's useless at selfies so that would work brilliantly for her and it, and it gets their attention you see it came off what's actually this is a design feature because <clears throat> some dogs may uh really ruthlessly go after this and like go chasing it and then you're like i lost the official tennis ball well mm -hmm. what's great is that any tennis ball works so this it's comes amazing. in both pink and green it's, it's the pink one for girl dogs and then the green one is for boy dogs? No, the every yeah. uh, pink. I don't know. My, my dogs liked pink. So um, it is, I think they did. But that's a whole other episode that you should listen to because. Yeah, I was going to uh, say, dogs Jim, what was the blind. color? <laughs> yeah, what was the color that dogs could see? I've already no, forgotten. No, uh, one was episode. good, one was brown. I'll have to re listen yeah. to the episode myself. Uh, yeah, uh, that's that's brilliant. I, I like that a lot. And I might have to get one just to see if it works with my dog because she is ball obsessed and we go out for runs together and I often try and take a selfie with her on the run and she's like and you could have and you could have dual else. use you could you could throw the ball and yeah. then and then you know and then catch it so this is designed by an engineer this is not like this is like designed by an engineer who went on television <laughs> on a little show in America called Shark Tank. And, you know, there are different versions of it in Japan and Canada with, with different names. But basically where entrepreneurs come out and try to pitch this very uh, uh, dour group of, of investors, whether they should uh, invest in this. And this one funding, as I recall, did this, uh, this one, I have to look at my producer, like, yes, mm -hmm. this one funding. And uh, it's very successful and it's doing really well. And it's cool. And again, 10 bucks on Amazon. We'll have the link to this and all of the products in today's show notes. That's brilliant. So next up is our $10 to $20 range. And we have a few items in this, including the Zoo Snoods Antler Ear Covers. Okay, demonstrate <laughs> okay. this oh, for us. Are you, are you, I'm not sure this is gonna fit on my head <laughs> and I risk real humiliation if i try these on and and i know you're really looking forward to that but I'll it's not what, like I'll this is being videotaped on youtube i'll try it in a minute but i'm just going to do a little okay. explanation of what okay. it is so it's kind of like it's just a it's a long tube like that yeah and if if you have floppy ears or, or ears that stand up of which of course i have neither because i'm not a dog <laughs> And what it does is it flattens your ears down. Are you really going to... Okay, hang on. Yeah, I'm going to make you this do it. This is going to so end we, horribly. We call headphones cans or ears. And so Claire is going to be using different... This is perfect. This is wonderful. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> that... Thank you. Can you do the rest of the show this way? She can't even hear me. Uh, <laughs> that is phenomenal. That's beautiful. Okay. <laughs> oh. That looks that looks great, uh, and, oh, and yes. I think you wore it well. And I, and we even have another member of your family who looks even more dashing in it. You put this on Maple. I did, yes. And we we have a photo of Maple wearing this. She, I have to say, the whole house was just like in fits of laughter about it because it is hilarious when you right. put something with antlers on a dog. It's really mm. really funny, um, but. <laughs> <laughs> she um she didn't look very impressed she was just like i don't know if it was because the whole house was laughing at her mm -hmm. or whether it was just because she suddenly had her ears pressed against her head but let me explain the logic behind yeah, why this was invented okay there's so, a little bit of there's a little bit of science behind this but yeah. in addition to looking ridiculous and kind of being fun uh, and, and cute not just ridiculous yeah. okay right. so uh ridiculously cute yeah this this was um invented because veterinarians believe that ear covers and upper body wraps help your dog relax during thunderstorms and during fireworks we have a big fireworks night every year in the uk on november the 5th you know what november the 5th is for of course you do it's when we celebrate the fact that they nearly blew up parliament it's literally what we do that's, as one that's does. the weirdest as one national celebrates. holiday we won't even think of what the american corollary would that be <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, we won't go there. Yeah, yeah. so we, we, I think we celebrate the fact that it is a failed plot 
to blow up go. Parliament. Like that. That's that's like what that. we're doing really. Um, so November the fifth, and there's always loads of fireworks. And like you guys, we have lots of fireworks for New Year's Eve mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of dogs find that really really troubling. So what you do is you put one of these on, and they look really cute. But it also presses their ears against their head and they hear less noise and I think, you know, it's relaxing for them. I think it's genius. I know that those thunder shirts really do work. Um, mm. and, and so this idea, and I also know that uh, every dog that I know gets calmed down when you r massage their ears mm. because there are all these little nerves back there that do calm them down. So this is basically a way to calm them down and look ridiculously cute at the same time and very holiday and festive. So check it out. It is, uh, again, fifteen ninety nine when we when we tape this. It may be less by the time you're watching this or, or listening to us. Uh, the link is in the show notes. It's called Zoo Snoods. Zoo Snoods. Get it? And you don't just have to have antlers as well. You can be a black mm -mm. bear, a panda. Um, we also have mm -hmm. a baby Yoda one, which I was very tempted by the baby Yoda one, but I just I had to go for the antlers <laughs> in the end because it was just so funny. So it comes in small, medium and large. And this was the medium one. So this is for a, obviously a golden retriever size, 12 to 18 or a person. inches. Or a person. Yeah. Sounds I don't like think it. I'm going to go out in public wearing that. And, and you can uh, also reuse this after the holidays and save it for next Halloween because, you know, this is probably a, yeah. a very fine Halloween costume. So next up, we are going to tell you about a designer purse that you can get very shishi for under $20. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back. And now a message from your dog. Oh, every day with you is like a day at the beach. And I want as many beach days as possible. Oh, I want to run. I want to sniff. Ooh, I want to find a good stick to carry. Oh, I want to roll in the grass. Oh, and warm my belly in the sun. Oh, I want to walk with you, run with you, sleep with you, eat with you. And when I eat with you, I want ever pop. The green, glassy beef liver smell wakes my senses. Oh, you may not realize this, but it tastes like homemade gravy. <laughs> it infuses any food you give me with healthy life vibrancy. Oh, <laughs> I can feel it. Ever pup traveling to every cell in my body, nourishing each one. I'm so grateful to be your dog. And for the ever pup you give me. So now that you know what your dog wants, get Everpup, the ultimate dog supplement. Everpup is available in select pet shops and on Amazon. But to get the best price possible, join the Everpup Club at everpupclub.com, where you'll get your first jar for just $8 with free shipping anywhere in the U.S. Go to everpupclub.com and use the discount code DPN. That is everpupclub.com. Ever pup, every day. Welcome back. So Claire, do you have any designer products, any shishi like Louis Vuitton? Uh, now this is an interesting question, Jim. I would like to turn that question back to you. I'm sounding like a politician now. Do I come across to you as the kind of person who might have designer things, maybe? I don't know. Um, your voice sounds like you might, because <laughs> we think we assume we Yanks assume all Brits have this great deal of sophistication, so very swanky. Um, but you've introduced me to different concepts of the British, including a thing called Sloans, which we don't <laughs> need to go into today. So uh, because I know you so well, I'm going to gather you probably do not have a lot of fancy designer uh, purses and things like that. Uh, yeah, you're correct. Um, I, I'm. I don't mean to cast dispersions on anybody who does, but personally, I'm. I'm not a designer bag person, but I know a lot of people who really love them, and you know that's something that they constantly work towards getting the next one. So I believe you now have a designer bag. Is it? Is it a man bag? <laughs> it is not a man. Well, it could be a man bag or girl bag. It's. It's this. It is a Chewy Vuitton from Paris. Chewy Vuitton. So That's this is brilliant. part of a whole bunch of toys that we are going to show you from this company that is very cleverly called 
Hot diggity dog. What? This is so French, so wonderful, so <laughs> punny. We love puns. I love puns a lot. And uh, this is a whole bunch of punny stuff. So it is actually really, it is truly a plush thing. And, and it is plush and... But but how does the dog carry the bag if had, they don't have opposable funds? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, oh, like that. Oh, that makes, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I, not as humiliating as putting ears on, but we'll do whatever we need to do to, to, to make the point come. And, and you can win all of these. You won't get the one that has my saliva on it. You'll get a fresh <laughs> one. Um, that so one will it be is, being sold on, a, on, on an exclusive site. <laughs> that'll be an exclusive. That'll, be, that'll cost only. a lot more. Uh, there it goes. It, may, it has wonderful noise. So that, yes, depends upon where your dog would, would grab it. But uh, little Maltese would tend to pick it up in their teeth this way. But this isn't the only thing that, 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 that oh, uh, no. the, the company has. No, 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 no. So we are taping this pretty early in the morning here in Hawaii. So that because we have like a 12 hour time difference between here 11, and 11. London. 11 hours, a conservative mm -hmm. 11 hours. We have this we have this crazy <laughs> time schedule. So I'm drinking my coffee from my DPN mug, and I couldn't get started without my Starbucks French roast every day. And now, you know, coffee's not great for dogs, but um, <clears throat> you can get a Starbucks uh, Frenchy roast. I mean, I think you mean a Starbucks. Starbarks. Starbarks. I'm sorry. Starbarks. <laughs> Starbarks. It also it also squeaks. And this is a, a Frenchie roast from Starbarks. Starbarks has a whole plethora of other very punny things uh, that this company makes. There are things with the ever pumpkin spice and 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 all the different blends and and it, you know it's christmas time so the peppermint chocolate mocha it it's a whole bunch of stuff so if you get a, a starbucks for yourself you can now have a starbucks for your dog it's very cute and again very reasonable and fun to play with and there's nothing to play there, there's there's a little there's a little straw i guess that you're uh, <laughs> a stirrer that the dog can uh, and you know, I was saying about the gifts that I'm going to get for my family because we always oh. do these token gifts. These, mm -hmm. these are them because I, I love them. I just these are think, amazing toys, and they're, yeah, good, they're, they're just actually real fun. high quality. They're really yeah. high quality. Yeah. So, uh, meanwhile, while you're having your coffee, eleven hours behind me, um, mm -hmm. then I can move on to the Gruna, <laughs> which is brilliant. With the lime in the top, With that's the lime, yeah. just superb. Um, so, Gruna Mexican beer, uh, I love it, and. I mean, obviously, I couldn't possibly be drinking whilst we're recording, mm -hmm. so I do also yeah. have the Liqua, uh, which is the, the sparkling mineral water. For, for teetotalers. If your dog yeah. does not consume either coffee or beer, well, then you can do the, the sparkling Liqua. Le, le, le no, the Liqua. Yeah. Le, le, le yeah. But they have it, they have a whole range of these, of, of different uh, drinks and things like that, and I just think they're really fun. I really yeah. like them, so... So yeah. they, they've they've gone punny. I mean, so the, this company doesn't have just they, you can get things like Chululemon and <laughs> Barkin Bag and Versace. Uh, it's just pretty extraordinary, and we will have the link to their entire lineup of very punny, reasonable dog toys that are real high quality. And I think part of a dog toy that makes it really fun is if you enjoy playing with it and touching it. Yeah. Um, even with all the saliva on it, it's it's <laughs> kind of cool. These are really cool quality products, and they will make you smile. Don't forget as well about the you know the kind of top prize for dogs. You know, if if a, a dog is going to get the top gift of all of them, then they can have the plush car and dog beds, which is a Mercedes. A Mercedes. So <laughs> literally, you can uh, give your dog a car, and it can be a very Fancy for Sadie's. Yeah. Again, very punny, very fun, and uh, affordable. I will have the link in the show notes. Now we're moving up to our next price range of $20 to $50. And we are going to go into the bath. Uh, so, Claire, do you have any trouble <laughs> uh, bathing your dog, Maple? I thought you were going to ask if I have any trouble bathing. I mean, no. I, I, my t I think my tween son, who's, who's not quite into the stage where he wants to attract uh, the same or opposite sex, he's, he has trouble bathing. So maybe I need to mm. get him into the, into the bath with this. <laughs> um, uh, this is the Aqua Pore. Now, I'm going to unbox this for you. Yeah. So 
this was invented as well. You know, we were talking about designers, and mm -hmm. and this was a chap who'd done an awful lot of design work for big companies, and he came up with this idea, and it was crowdfunded as well, and on Dragon's Den. So, Dragon's Den is the is the British oh, yeah, or Canadian sorry, equivalent shark of, tank. of Shark Tank. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so it doesn't look very grammars. It looks. It, it looks raised a bit like two thousand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> it looks a bit like about to carry out some medical procedure. But... <laughs> <laughs> this won't hurt a bit. <laughs> ah, colonic irrigation. Here we come. Um, so obviously you have an attachment on here. This this goes onto it can go onto an outside tap, or there are various other attachments in here. Lots and lots no, of them. We've, we've used this and it works. You, you, yeah. So like, we don't, I, I, who would, my dogs would never suffer a bath outside. So you can oh, well, plug it into different words. things. So we, so little, little dogs or big dogs. So you can use an yeah. outside hose or you can use the bathtub spigot or the sink spigot. And then this is the brilliant thing about this. Yeah. Watch, where, so watch where the water comes from. Yeah, exactly. So it, it comes from the palm of your hand, which by the way is adjustable. So it's like a little, um, like a watch strap here. So mm -hmm. you can adjust this to fit your palm. So my, my delicate palm here. And um, <laughs> because this is, um, how shall I describe it? Because it has ridges, mm -hmm. then um, as you rub your dog, it lathers them up as you're using the shampoo. So it creates mm. the lather by rubbing the ridges. <laughs> I can't tell you that in rehearsal, because we do rehearse the show, we were laughing so hard when you were doing that line that, uh, well, I, I, let's just say it's good that we weren't taping at that point. Yeah. But yes, it does have ridges, so it's it's really good for both you and your dog. It makes so, it a little bit more easy for the dog to enjoy the, the bath experience. Yes, and um, to create it, the lava um <laughs> so it connects as i say either to the outside tap and i'm afraid to say that my dogs do get hosed outside yeah. because sometimes they're just filthy um i only have one dog now but i did have two dogs previously and it just speeds up the whole process because it should allow you to do most dogs in under five minutes which well, is and they also really have good. different sizes so they have one that's literally designed for really big dogs or horses i mean so it, it could go all i definitely the way. wouldn't bring one of those into the house no, no <laughs> i think that would be a little bit over i uh, probably squirt everywhere but the <laughs> idea of of like you know adjusting a lot of the stuff that we are showing you today works they're different they're small medium and larges yes. uh as as there is in this it's, it's very cool this is uh 24.95 on amazon as of now uh again it may be less by the time you are watching this or listening to this episode it's a strange image really isn't it on the front a hand with water shooting out of it mm -hmm. but there you go that's a but special one just for and the lot... youtube viewers <laughs> <laughs> and it works. And again, it was on, I think it was on, I think this one actually was also featured on Shark Tank, not Dragon's Den. It's the same. Oh, no. Well, I suppose it's not technically the same thing because, yeah. yeah. Okay. Dif different yeah. judges. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'll let you off for that one. And there you go. Different attachments for different sizes of things. And what's cool is not only does this company make these wonderful bathing accessories, but they make a lick mat that you can put on the side of the bathtub. And someone on our team has discovered a very interesting application for the lick mat to increase the likelihood that your dog is going to enjoy their bath. And that is you put some peanut butter in the ridges on the thing that sticks on the side of the bathtub. And so the dog is licking the the peanut butter and you're able to uh, bathe them using the mitt or using your traditional methods uh, and it makes bath time again a little bit more fun for both you and the dog so our final product is in the $50 plus category but we really believe it's worth it it's one of our standout gifts for the holidays it comes in at $139 we believe we know our dogs breed maybe from the shelter we adopted them from or our vets opinions but we don't always know for sure well this test claims to be able to solve that once and for all this is the embark dog DNA kit. All you have to do is simply swab your dog's cheek, send it back to the company who will then compare it to your pup's chromosomes, and then they will figure out which of over 350 dog breeds is inside of your dog or which combination. It's really cool. And then you get the results, of course, on a handy phone app, which works on an 
uh, iOS or, or uh, Android. It's like a 23andMe for dogs. And, you know, Jim, I had my previous dog's DNA tested. And a couple of things I would say about it is I didn't realize that of all the DNA testing kits out there, there is a, a you know, a scale of some are better than others. Some give mm-hmm. you more information. Mm-hmm. And I got one of the cheaper ones. And although it was very interesting, it didn't give me half the stuff that this one would have given me. So I did find out what breed my dog was made up of. And it was it was fascinating because we had her for 13 and a half years and we found out towards the end of her life. And we always had those conversations in the part where people go, oh, is she? And we go, well, we know her mother was this and we think maybe she's got a bit of that in her. And we knew the mother a bit, but when we got the DNA results back, it was just fascinating because there were a whole load of other things in there that made real sense, but... We hadn't got a clue what they were before we got the DNA results. So it was Absolutely. I mean, you say it's like 23andMe, and, and yes, 23andMe can say, you know, where your ancestry is, and that's kind of f- fine and lovely and, oh, a little bit German, a little Italian, a little sweet, you know. But what is really interesting is when it starts getting into the health reasons, which is, mm. you know, they spent years and billions of dollars being able to sequence the human uh, DNA and 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 similarly this is this is one of the beneficiaries of that because the, I will tell you this the hundred and thirty nine dollars that you're paying doesn't actually cover anything in terms of how much money was put into the R and D and how this works because uh, there's just a tremendous interest because you were agreeing to allow in an, in the aggregate all of this data to be used for veterinary science so there's some real benefits to to doing genetic testing in terms of just not only finding the breed but doing a lot of things that you may not directly benefit your dog today but will in the future but one of the things that it will do right now is once you know the breed you'll know some of the hereditary um things that your dog Mm. could have as a result of being finding out that it's this breed versus that breed so it's really a powerful thing and kind of fun and really kind of makes you feel good because you are helping to advance science. I know that you mentioned 23andMe. I mm. had 23andMe done. My wife had, I was reluctant, but she mm. had it done years earlier back when they would give you a lot more data. She found that she was mm. missing a certain chromosome or something like that that made her particularly bad at assimilating um uh, anesthesia. So wow. if she would ever be in an accident and go into the hospital for surgery and without this warning, the wow. anesthesiologist wouldn't really know about it and it could cause some really serious problems. So now she literally wears a medic alert bracelet huh? and that wouldn't have been discovered had she not done the 23 and Me test which which she gave me for valentine's day and i, I never got it because i didn't have the, uh, the the nerve to do it i didn't want to know and then once i saw the results and how many interesting things you can learn by knowing more about yourself or in this case knowing more about your dog is really really cool so this is why we uh have made the embark dog dna test um our our top prize or our, our top gift for the yeah. best gifts of 2022 and one of the things I love about it as well is this idea that you can also, a, a bit like the 23 Me thing, you can find out if there are any dogs that are related to your dog. Oh, that's so cool, yes. yeah. Yeah, and, and where they are in the world as well. I think that's brilliant. And they have found out that over 90% of dogs tested have a close res- relative, like a cousin, and 12% discover a direct family member. On Isn't there, that which is crazy. so crazy. Cool. So, and like, you can find out that there's a dog in, you know, who's like related to yeah. Maple. It's yeah. Just... Uh, well, and, and I'd be fascinated to do that because initially, when we thought about doing this, we thought, well, there's no point because she came from Canada. So, there's not going to be anyone related. But now, I mean, I'm like super curious because maybe there is. Maybe someone from her bloodline is over here. That would be maybe really they cool. traveled in the Queen Mary. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. That's another episode. That's like a callback here. to another yeah so i i would i'd be fascinated to do it and uh, you know because of all those things that you've mentioned and also interesting to see if she really is i mean she looks like a pure golden retriever we 
we were told she's pure gold, but maybe she isn't. Who knows? You can find out. You yes. can get your money she's back, right? Like, she's only ninety eight percent golden retriever. I want two yeah. percent back. That yeah, it, it's really funny. And again, the 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 health benefits that can inure not necessarily your dog right now, but to mm. dogs in the future is pretty extraordinary. And on other podcasts and dog podcast network, we talk a little bit about the benefits of 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 these types of dna tests uh for cancer and for other diseases i just taped an interview today with a veterinarian talking about that very subject it's fascinating there's a lot of stuff to know about your dna and it's as simple as swabbing the cheek sending it in your dog won't won't mind and mm. it's a fun thing to know and it can really do a lot of good and it's a it's a really cool gift and that's why we selected it for one of the best gifts of 2022. Now, would you like to win all of these? Everything we've shown you from doggy DNA to uh, uh, Chewy Vuitton and Starbucks <laughs> and, and things and to corona. bathe your dog with? <laughs> well, you can. We are giving it all away to one lucky listener, one lucky viewer, one person in our audience. And all you have to do is go to this webpage. It is dogpodcastnetwork.com slash gifts dogpodcastnetwork.com slash gifts and then you can enter in your name and register to win now if you want to increase your odds of winning and i know claire you're one of these people who play these <laughs> contests and you're like give me more lottery tickets give me more chances <laughs> well we have an easy way for you to do that because all you have to do is like like us is like you see i'm i grew up in i'm, I'm, I'm definitely grew up in an area where you say like so you just <laughs> all you have to do is like us on facebook or uh, on our Twitter social channels social channels yeah. all sorts of really easy things it'll take you like a moment or two to do each of these things and every time you do it not only do you promote dog edition and help us grow our audience and let more dog lovers discover dog edition and this quality content because we always have fun here but maybe not as much fun as we had today we have penetrating <laughs> conversations on dog edition that's why it's the the, the first podcast listen to while you walk your dog not only will you help us get a greater audience exposure but you get a different a new a new ticket if you will uh, a new chance to win uh the grand prize fantastic so all we need to do is go to dogpodcastnetwork.com slash gifts and as well as all the amazing stuff that we have already talked about, our sponsor for the show, our sponsor for Dog Edition, who is Everpop, have also agreed to give our winner a year's subscription to this ultimate daily dog supplement. So if you want your dog to be super healthy and, you know, tuned into all the best nutrients, then you will get a year's subscription of Everpop. Now, Jim, tell us a little bit about the supplement because I know this was developed by veterinarians. Yes, absolutely. Everpup is truly they, they, it's the ultimate daily dog supplement. So it's this delicious green powder that you sprinkle on your dog's food. It is all human grade ingredients and it is known as a polyceutical. What's a polyceutical? A polyceutical is a mixture of a whole bunch of nutraceuticals. So it has vitamins and minerals and prebiotics and probiotics and glucosamine and enzymes. It basically works on every cell and system in your dog's body. It is a, a, just an extraordinary supplement. There are a lot of dog supplements out there, but and we obviously love Everpup uh, because they help sponsor Dog Podcast Network and this app and this show. But we really, I mean, I use it with my own dog. It is, it's, it's just an extraordinary supplement. Everpup and you as part of the, if you're the grand prize winner in our contest, you will win 12 jars of Everpup, which is enough for most sized dogs. And if you have a really small dog, that's almost like two years of Everpup. That's from our sponsor, Everpup. And you can find out more at everpup.com or they also are available on Amazon. So Claire, which of all of the gifts today is your favorite? Can I have two favorites? Cause I have sure. kind of two, two different reasons really, which is, mm -hmm. as I said, I really love the kind of, these things, <laughs> these dog toys with their sort of fake designery things. I love them. And they're the things I'm going to be gifting other people because mm -hmm. they're just fun stuff to give them. But for me personally, I really want to do the dog DNA test because I've done it before. 
I didn't do a very expensive one. It didn't give me a lot of information. And now I want to do it again and do the proper one. So two choices for you. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I think dog DNA is really important. I know it costs a little bit more, but you know, you can you can get the ten dollar thing, which is actually going to give you a lot of memories because you'll make be able to make yeah. some great photos with it. Um, but that's the thing. I mean, it, you don't have to spend a lot. It's just do something that helps show when you're you know unwrapping Christmas or or Hanukkah or whatever holiday you celebrate this year. Remember to include your dogs in in it by giving them one of these really kind of fun gifts because it helps to remind us all that dogs are a part of the family. And then I know we all have dog friends that we sometimes meet on our walks and, you know, we kind of know the dog's name better than we know the person's name. Well, it's nice to have a few of these things around that you can give out to those people because, you know, we can do whatever we can to increase the dog love. All of these are again linked in today's show notes. Well, that is all we have time for today. I want to thank you for joining us and bringing us along on your dog walk. And don't forget to follow Dog Edition in your favorite podcast app so you can get notification and a download when our next episode is released. And don't forget as well, tell a friend when you're out in the dog park, you know, let them know about us. It's the best way to help this podcast grow. I'm Claire Mansell. And I'm James Jacobson. On behalf of all of us here at Dog Podcast Network, I'd like to wish you and your dog a very warm aloha. Aloha.